My name is Daryl Legion, and I'm 58 years old, and I'm a Washington, native Washingtonian. And I received my LVAD uh, uh, surgery in February the 10th of 2011. Hey. Well, my caregiver is my wife, and we've been married like 10 years. We've been knowing each other for almost 12 years. After we came home from Jamaica, that's when he started getting sick uh, in 2005. Um, it's been a hard struggle. It really has. Before I was down with LVAD, uh, like I said, during police department days, I was considered, a, what you say, a thoroughbred. I was in. I was always in top condition. You know, we had the weight rooms at the precinct, so you know everybody wanted to be able to outlift each other. So I was doing, you know, pretty much, you know, anything I wanted to do physically. I started getting fatigued every morning going to work. I was found to have an enlarged heart, and it was extremely enlarged. And it went from enlarged heart to having a, a congestive heart failure. Further diagnosis had me as congestive heart failure, uh, affibrillation problems. Then I had to have a defibrillator uh, put in. And from the defibrillator, I started having numerous shocks because of the uh, irregular heartbeats I was having. So then Dr. Boyce came in one day and told me they had a procedure called the LVAD. Before he could hardly even get off the side of the bed, you know, he didn't want to go down the steps. He didn't want to, you know, he would push himself, but you could see how fatigued he was. First I was, no, I'm not going to do it. But then I had to think about hospice, do it. Hospice, do it. All right, I'll try the machine. And I was, you know, I was instructed to go home and don't sit around. To get out and walk more, it would become easier. The first day I got out and I was, you know, really gun ho, I'm going to walk. So I walked to the next neighbor's house. And as the days went by, my goal was to go to the next neighbor. To the next neighbor. Now halfway down the block, which was... A distance I never traveled was the neighborhood we called the Big White Fence. I told my wife, I said, you know what, tomorrow I'm going to make it to the fence. And when I got to the fence, I was so happy I made it, I just kept going until I made it to the end of the block. Yeah. But then I realized, I got to go back now. <laughs> so I walked back to the White Fence, and all I had to do was stand there for a hot minute or two to recuperate a little bit, but I made it back to the house. My energy level came back, and then there was no shocks. And I became the shot. <laughs> his energy level, I mean, the activities, his spirit is even a whole lot better. Um, yeah, crazy. He's crazy. <laughs> All out now. Like I said, from couch potato to sweet potato.